this question comes. Hey, Zane, hey, Zane, hey, Zane, hey, what? Zane. Hey, what? I want you to. I want you to edit in some ghost music that just slowly gets louder and louder no. until you can't no. hear me doing the question. No. He's a no. <laughs> because we're going ghost. Hey, what's up, guys? He cut me off twice this episode. <laughs> I know it's really mean of me. Should I let you do your question first? No, no we're already Continue. here. Continue. We're already here. Okay. <laughs> Uh, uh, this is going ghost where where the community shares their uh, uh, ghost stories with us. This one comes from Esauske, okay. and they uh, titled this story "Boyfriend Sleep Talking." I'm typing this right now because I'm scared. WTF, comma. So it's 5 a.m. and my boyfriend starts did started sleep talking. I'll lay it out for you. Him, they're hanging out with the torches. Me, who is? Him, they are. <laughs> <laughs> me, who's they? Him. They're hanging out with the cleavers and the torches. <laughs> me, cleavers and torches. Are they dangerous? Him. Mumbles rhythmically, almost like a song. Cleavers and torches. <laughs> me. Cleavers and torches. You're so far from your microphone. Get back here. <sighs> I don't want to break people's me. ears when I laugh. Me, where are they? Him, they are right there. Points at open bedroom door with surprising accuracy. Can't you put two and two together? Then he stopped answering. So I'ma be up all night waiting for them with the cleaners and torches. <laughs> Can't wait. Thank you so much, Esauske, for sending us in this story of the paranormal. Um... I my least favorite part of the sleepovers with all the boys back in back in my school days was going and having somebody talking in their sleep and just knowing it's the paranormal with the torches mm-hmm. and the cleavers. Mm-hmm. You know uh, what I'm saying, Zane? God, the cleavers and torches torches come all the time. So I have I have stories of uh, friends sleep talking and whatnot. So I've heard this. They never put it to the level of cleavers and torches. But my friend Andy once, I hope that he listens to this podcast, man. My friend Andy once was asleep at one of my birthday parties, um, and he woke up in the middle of the night, and he just stared at a TV that was off. And we just wondered, is he awake or is he not? We said his name, and he wouldn't respond. And he picked up a Wii remote, and and he just started pressing uh, A on the Wii remote and pointing at the screen. And we're like, I think he thinks he's playing a game right now i think he i think he's going at it for real in his head and we just started this is the fun part this is where you mess with them you say hey andy you're pressing a you need to press b and he yelled i i am pressing b and we said oh no now he he can hear us oh we gotta keep going with this and we said no andy andy seriously you gotta press b you gotta press b and he just yelled i'm pressing b and then he dropped the wii remote and went back to bed (laughs) now see my stories aren't nearly that fun i would but i would fake sleep talking all the time I was desperate for attention, and so we would have sleepovers, and they'd be like, oh, no, Will turns into a different person when he's asleep, and I would fake sleep talk because I wanted to be cool. <laughs> that's my whole That's my whole story. That's all I got. Oh, I'm good. not proud of it. I get you, though. Hey, why not? It, it's, it puts you on the map, doesn't it? Uh- <laughs> torches. Cleavers and torches. Cleavers and torches. Cle- this- I mean, that would scare me. That would scare me. But you said he was chanting it like the way that if if he said it the way Will did. Cleavers and torches. Cleavers and torches. It's making me think of the Lee Ferrickson <laughs> Day episode of SpongeBob. Hingy dingy jargon. Cleavers and torches. <laughs> cleavers and torches. <laughs> if they say it like they're like it's a food dish. Now, when you think cleavers and torches also, <laughs> it sounds like... They're... I'm going to open a restaurant called Cleavers and Torches. <laughs> what, do you guys, what do you guys sell here? Everything is burnt because we cook with pure torch. And all the, to be fair, all the meat's pretty good because we cleave it all. <laughs> okay, you know what? That came around pretty nicely. Good job. Thank you. Uh, you got to start with the joke, but then you got to end with the fact that, you know what? We want to pass our rating uh, uh, as a restaurant, so we got to, you know sound like we're doing something right however we don't cook but anyways on your server because it's all cleavers and torches (laughs) Uh, you gotta edit one of us out we were arguing too hard there but uh (laughs) hey uh i finally want to stop cutting you off and let you do your question you don't want to talk about this more i was gonna say 
when you were gonna do when you when you heard him say cleavers and torches, either A, that's something that happens to a Frankenstein. People really don't like your boyfriend or your husband boy here. Uh, whoever it was, I don't remember. It's some man that sleeps next to you, right? Uh, so whoever this man is, apparently some group of villagers don't like him. They're coming for him. Or maybe it's just the fact that, like, maybe the Cleavers and Torches restaurant thing is really happening and you're just getting your workers. Like, it, maybe he just yeah. fortune cookied you. What if that the was cavalry a cavalry has arrived. Your cooking force is here. You can finally start the business you've always wanted to. This is me, fortune teller, sleeper Bob. <laughs> um, here to tell the future, uh, dreaming beautiful dreams, scaring you in the middle of the night, and making you think they're killers. But no, no, no. It's your restaurant force ready to cook up tasty meat. That's all. <sighs> ready to cook up tasty meat. We burnt it, but we made it all out of our own. and cleavers. <laughs> Torches. Okay. Now that's their that's their enemy restaurant, <laughs> torches and cleavers. <laughs> Vice versa, <laughs> they, they burn the meat first and then they bang on it. <laughs> All right. So okay, yes. Okay. I'll give you a question now. 